what was kind of cool is I used everything I've learned, you know, every little thing I've learned since I've been on the planet for this thing. This is just sculptures in this room. This is a this is the biggest piece of Santa Morte. Um, this actually just got back from uh, from Miami. They took it down to that Scope Fair, and this was from another installation. This big uh, starburst. It's a pan um, a pan starburst. It's got some wolf bats. These two eagles. Um, so yeah, that's we do some sculptures in there, and then. And then these are all the die cuts that I got done. So I was hoping to get 12 and I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. 10. I really had fun cutting that, that snow leopard. But it was also fun kind of doing these, lay, like layering these up, like with that snake and the crow, like trying some dimensional stuff. This is the one I was cutting. And this one, I, uh, I also just like left open areas for uh, stain. And the rest of it's just hand colored, but all these are carved out. They're carved out a little different too, just to kind of break it up and make some different dimensions on there. This one's Lustful Faunus, which is another name for Pan. Um, this was uh, Feather versus Fang. Uh, Morgan's Murder, she was a Irish Tribune. Um, this is Skull, the Sun Swallower. This was a sun of Fenris uh, that, that chased the sun and eventually swallowed it. This is crossing the Owl's Bridge. That's what the Native Americans called death. That's just a psychic goat. It's a fictional character I kind of made up. This, that skull is a Baron Samedi. He kind of, he's, he's affiliated with a cemetery. He, he kind of just guards the doorway between the living and the dead. And that was uh, Fenris' brother. The brother was a Midgard serpent that was so big it would surround the world and hold its tail in its mouth. So th this is the, the wave. Uh, you, you guys saw all of this being printed down in the studio, all of these prints. Um, all these are pulled from the blocks and then pasted on. And this is just old, you know, it's basically built like a skate, skate ramp. It's a transition with two by fours. And then this, this will look like it's crashing into the, the memorial ships, which are here. This one's for Richard Mock, and this is Andy's. And then they got the AK for Andy Kesson, and this is Tom Little. And then I made these little wave pedestals for those. And we also have like this reaping sun piece on the wall here. Now I'm fucking psyched, man. I'm like, tomorrow I'll be really excited. Like just the idea of like, some people showing up that want to pull this thing down the street and the drummers playing and nature playing. It's going to be, it's just going to be fun, you know? It's like a little kid, like, I'm like, like something's coming, like, it's kind of like Santa Claus or something, yeah. but not.